Welcome. Hope you are having a great Thursday. It's always good when it's Thursday, isn't it? Because we're just like almost at the weekend. We're right there on the edge of it. Okay, so we've got three breaks tonight. It'll keep us busy for a little while. And as I typically do, we are going to go over some information here before uh, we actually start ripping. So while everybody's getting in and getting settled, I am going to go ahead and get us rolling with that. So my feedback is automated. I get asked that question a lot. That's how it works. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. So, hey, that's a win-win, right? We all like that. And then, of course, the other thing there is to say thank you because, hey, I like it when you're here with me. You keep me company, you chat, you hang out. I love it. And then, of course, always appreciate you bidding and breaking with me. We're taking a look next at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow we have two new releases and we are going to bust them both. It's a 10 box case of Absolute Baseball. And then we're going to do an eight box half case quantity of Chronicles Draft Picks Football. Those happen to be loose boxes from shared cases. Saturday and Sunday will both be off nights. We'll come back in on Monday night with a 12 box inner case of Legacy Football. Veteran Base does not ship to the teams in that break. It is a separate bidding category. And, of course, as usual, the full details in the listing description. Then on Tuesday night, we will break TriStar Game Day Greats uh, Series 2 autographed football jer jerseys by the full case. And we'll also break ourselves another little case of finest baseball. So that's what Tuesday is going to look like. Here's what you need to know in regard to, uh, first of all, the order that we're going in tonight. Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition will be first. Clearly Authentic Baseball second. Finest Baseball will be our third break of the night. The first two go fairly quickly. The third one takes a little bit longer. So if you're here for Finest, I'm going to say arguably you're going to have somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 to 40 minutes, give or take maybe five minutes in either direction. And everything that we are opening tonight, I am hopeful that I will be able to get it out to you approximately Monday. As always, that is plus or minus a day. So if the week were to go really well, maybe some of it gets out on Saturday. Uh, but they'd have to go really well for that to happen. And if the week goes a little, a little off track, it could possibly be Tuesday instead. But Monday is my best guess. Now, if you are in one of these breaks tonight and your team does not pull anything, not a card of any kind, base or otherwise, you will still get a package in the mail. It will go out when the rest of the break ships because it's a paid shipping break and it would have consolation card or cards in it. So that's how uh, that's going to roll tonight. So first up is our 20 box case of 2020 Archive Signature Series retired player edition it actually came out yesterday but mine didn't arrive until today i know i knew it was going to be late though so that was the good news we didn't schedule it for yesterday and then not have it and of course it ended tonight the same night we are breaking it ended on ebay which is thursday night the 9th of july your team names are there on one side and uh, the ebay user id of each winning bidder is up in lights across from your team on the opposite side a new spreadsheet will go up before the start of each and every break tonight. So if you are not in this first break, if you're uh, in Clearly Authentic or one of the others, you hang tight. You'll get a chance to see your name up there shortly. Last little piece of business. You are going to see that your background gets blurry. I know, right? It's not you, though. It's me. I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah, seems like that would be the wrong thing to do, but I promise you it isn't. It will actually let us see our cards up a little closer and easier that way. So this product, it is a one, uh, you may as well say pack, but it's technically a one card per box product. And what we're going to do is get all of our boxes out and I'm going to go ahead and get all the plastic cut off of them and get them just ready to go. And then that way, once we start looking through them, we'll just be able to zip, zip, zip right on down the road. So in other words, we delay our gratification up front. <laughs> and then once we get started, we don't have to stop and go and stop and go and all that crazy stuff. Let me get this case out of my way here. I've got so much cardboard. <laughs> 
Oh, my recycling people, they hate me. Every week they hate me. And who is here? Reba Boy and Jay Allen, both here. And Andrew, sending good vibes to everybody. Reba Boy needs the Red Sox. And All You Need Is Cards is here, too. Hi, welcome back. All You Need Is Cards. And Jay Allen is also wishing everybody luck, as was Reba Boy. So, hopefully we're going to have enough luck to go around and... Maybe everybody will be happy tonight when we're done. That would be best. I would like that most if we could make that work. So, of course, inside of each of our boxes here, we will find one encased autographed card. And retired players, obviously, you probably figured that out from the name of the product. They do lots of different editions of Archive Signature Series. There's, of course, the Active Player Edition for, uh, was it last year or year before last? Instead of retired players, we did like a, a playoff edition or something. And they've, I don't know, they mess around with it all the time. But there's more than one version, of course, of Archive Signature. But I always look forward to Retired Player Edition because I happen to really like some of the older guys. Hank Aaron, Johnny Bench, you know, they're my two favorites, but I like a lot of the older players from the 70s and the 80s and in that range. So I always kind of look forward to products like this where we get a shot at those kinds of guys. You know, I bet that one, yeah, I moved that one in the middle, didn't I? Jay Allen has the Phillies in this and the Phillies in finest as well. All right. Oh, and Reba Boy's got Red Sox for the next break for Clearly Authentic. All right. I got gotcha. you. Well, we will try to hold over your mojo for the Red Sox to make sure it's still hanging around when we get to Clearly Authentic, too. Chris watched one case break, and it had 12 one-of-ones in it. Wow, that's crazy. We do usually find one of ones in this product. I don't think I've ever had a case where we have had 12, but hey, anything's possible, right? <laughs> we will hope for it anyway. Okay, so the first one out, well, it's numbered to 30, so it's not a one of one, not this time. And it is um, headed to the Mariners with Jay Brunner. Brunner. The Blue Jays, a little Al Oliver. That one also is numbered to 30. Then we have Sean Green, and that, where's the number on that one? Is that one not numbered? No, there it is. Ah, it's a one of one, figures. <laughs> the one I can't find the number on is a one of one. It's hidden over there in the design, but it is there. And it is Sean Green for the Dodgers. And there's another one of one right behind it. Oh, I like that one. You know I like Jim Rice. So that's very cool. A little Jim Rice for the Red Sox. So we did have Red Sox mojo in here, didn't we? After all. And then number 277. There is one for the New York Yankees. And here's Jose Canseco. It is numbered 236. And that one is going to uh, the Oakland A's. Or no, I'm sorry, he's a Ray on that one. Tampa Bay Ray. Sorry, sorry. I'm used to saying Oakland A's. i got to take a look at the card, don't I? Instead of just the name. <laughs> Tampa Bay Rays and Jose Canseco. Then we have the Giants and uh, Tejada. And it is also a one of one. Tejada. So that's two one of ones so far. Number 224, it's the Angels and Jim Abbott. Here come the Red Sox again. This is Jerry Remy, and it is numbered 215. For the Atlanta Braves, number 233. That's a good one, Andrew Jones. And look at that. My little Cincinnati Reds get involved here. And it is Sean Casey for the Cincinnati Reds, number 255. Oh, now I really like this. This is my Reds again. It's number 14. That's Eric Davis. Now, that's what I'm talking about. I like me some Eric Davis. Eric Davis. 
And then we have number 270, Benny Santiago coming out next. And that is the Miami Marlins. They were Florida Marlins at that time, so I think it said Florida Marlins, but obviously goes to Miami Marlins. Luis Gonzalez, Arizona Diamondbacks, number 249. Galarraga for the Cardinals, and it is number 224, St. Louis. Cincinnati Reds again. Dang, this is a Reds case. This is the kind of case I wish I was buying into in somebody else's break. <laughs> Never works for me that way, though. Got a little Bronson in there for the Reds. Very nice to 99. Okay, here come the Colorado Rockies. And where's my number on this one? Ah, up here in the corner. Number 254. And that is Jeff Cirillo. The Indians. Oh, that's Sandy Alomar. That's cool, too. That's numbered to 62. I like that one also. I'm jealous of a lot of these cards, aren't I? Here come the Red Sox one more time. Numbered to 53. That is uh, Bernie Carbo. Last box mojo time. And it is bringing us a Dave Stewart autograph. And it is also a one of one. And uh, it's, oh, look at that, some kind of like Woolworth Collector Series card. Huh, that's actually pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. That Dave Stewart one of one for the A's. That was a good way to end. Now, we are going to recap this real quickly, but I am also going to do a slight more little adjustment here on the focus because I don't think that was as close as I normally like to look at the card. So that might let me get them a little bit closer to you, I think. All right, so there we go, kids. We're going to recap it real, real quickly there. That's the Oakland A's. We've got St. Louis Cardinals, somebody the magnets sticking to each other. There's the Arizona Diamondbacks. We have the Red Sox and the Red Sox again. The Indians have a nice one with the Sandy Alomar. There's one for the Angels. The Giants picked up one. The Colorado Rockies, one of three, amazingly, for the Reds. They don't usually hit quite that many. And Jose Canseco as a Ray. Yeah, not the A's on that one, but the Rays. The New York Yankees. And then you have the Marlins. There's another Cincinnati Reds hit. A really nice little Red Sox hit. One for the Dodgers. Toronto Blue Jays pick up an Al Oliver. The Mariners have a hit. They got us started tonight. There's another Cincinnati Red, and then that really good-looking Andrew Jones card. I like those black and white cards. I think they're nice-looking cards, and they are, that is, rather, numbered to 33. All right, so that wraps that one up. Now we're going to do Clearly Authentic, which is kind of the same thing as that. It's a, in the sense that it is one encased card per, per uh, box. But we might have an unsold team in here, so hang on a second. Or an unpaid team, I should say. It was sold, but it wasn't paid the last time I looked. So let me see if they got off their bums and paid it in the meantime. And they did. Yeah, they did. Yay. All right. So no unsold teams means we can keep right on trucking just the way I like it. All right, so once again, all these paid shipping breaks tonight should be out the door, hopefully on Monday, plus or minus a day. Could be Saturday, could be Tuesday. Best bet is Monday. And, of course, uh, if you get skunked in any of these breaks tonight, meaning you do not hit a uh, card of any sort, base or otherwise, you are still going to get a package in the mail. It will have consolation cards in it, and it will head your way when the rest of the break ships out the door. So coming up next, it is a 20-box case of Clearly Authentic Baseball. This is a full case break as well. It's break number two. This ended tonight on eBay as well. Same night we are breaking it, Thursday night, the 9th of July. Our team names are on the left-hand side, and of course, each eBay user ID of the winning bidder is across from their team there on the opposite side. And once we wrap up this, then we will head into Finest right after we complete clearly authentic. So let's get that case rolling. All right. 
What did you say, Jay Allen? There's been a, oh, been a lot of one of ones. I forgot to look over there at chat for a minute. Yeah, usually these products like this that are, um, you know, the buyback products, the encased one card per box type products that Tops puts out, they do generally have a decent number of one of ones in them. Now, I mean, I don't usually see one, you know, like you were talking about there, Chris, that has 12 in one case. I haven't been that lucky, but we've definitely had cases before where we've maybe gotten five or six. And I mean, I guess we got three or four tonight, didn't we? I know we got at least three. Did, uh, well, we got at least two. I think we got three or four. I know. I lose track. I lose count. I do. I admit it. I lose, I lose track of it along the way. So same as before, I'm going to get all the plastic off first, and then we'll be able to just rock and roll right on through them. Jay Allen says he's got to hit the hay. All right, my friend, and you are uh, needing some Phillies Mojo in finest. All right, Jay Allen, well, I hope you get some good rest tonight, and I will try my very, very best to get you some Phillies Mojo and Finest. I will try very hard to accomplish that for you. Now Reba Boy says we need to keep that uh, <laughs> keep that Red Sox love going here in Clearly Authentic. So we've got to we've got to conjure up some more Red Sox Mojo because they did come out very nicely out of the last product. That's for sure. So we'll see if we can't keep the train rolling. Chris says we had four one of ones. Okay. So see, I was in the ballpark. I said three or four. All right. Joe's here too. Hi, Joe. Who are you rooting for tonight, Joe? Chris, you need the Cubbies and uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. in here. Okay. We will try to find you some Cubbies and Tatis then. Yeah, I wish I had kept back some of the um, Active Player Edition. Then we could have just done a whole night of this type of product, but... I didn't get a lot of Active Player Edition this year. They were really stingy with it. And it came out super early. It was the first release of the year. And I didn't save any back. So, eh. All right. I always want to open these the same way you open the other boxes. And they don't open that way. Oh, and I'll tell you what else I need. This just makes it a little easier sometimes to see the autograph behind it on these acetate cards. If I put the little blank white behind it. So, number to 50, you have a Seth Brown out for the Oakland A's. First hit that we see. The next one, it is the Brewers and Trent Grisham coming out for our second hit. Was that Oakland A's card number? Did I read out the number? It is numbered to 50, but I don't know if I read it out or not. The Trent Grisham was not numbered. The Twins and a little Max Kepler comes out next. Ooh, Baltimore Orioles. Woohoo! Number to 50. How you like those apples? That is Cal Ripken Jr. out for the Orioles. Oh, I love that. That's very nice. Here's a cubby for you Kyle Hendricks. Coming out there to get uh, Chris rolling tonight with his cubbies. The A's and Jose Canseco. And Jose is not numbered, I guess. I don't see the numbering on there anyway. Well, there is your Tatis. Chris, you must be living right, man. <laughs> You got exactly what you asked for, and it's numbered to 25 on top of that. So he says, hey, I need some Cubs and Tatis, and hey, well, we found him some Cubs and Tatis, like right away. <laughs> he didn't even have to sweat it out. They came out early. Savali is out for the Cleveland Indians. 
Some nights it just works that way, doesn't it? Those are the good nights. And this is numbered to 99. Why the guy signed it in red, I'm not sure. Um, but it makes it a little hard to see. Even, you know, right? It looks weird. I don't know why he did red, but he did. So that's the Astros. Here comes the Mini. And it's Reese Hoskins. Oh, boy. I hope J. Allen is already brushing his teeth or closed his eyes because that would make him sad that he didn't <laughs> buy them when we hit that because it's also numbered to 25. And by the way, this particular case I just happened to notice is scratched all to thunder, this one-touch case is. Now, a lot of them have marks on them. They hardly ever do their one-touch cases come out of these boxes looking like they're new, even though presumably they are. But they rarely have as much scratching as that Reese Hoskins had. It was crazy scratched up. There's Sean Murphy, and that is the Oakland A's. Stang Lover's here. Hey, Stang Lover. You are looking for Brendan McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. All right. And Ego Trip Breaks is here, too. Hi, Ego Trip. Max Muncy makes an appearance for the Dodgers. Next up, we have got ourselves uh, a little Logan Allen. Cleveland Indians. I don't think I said that part, did I? The White Sox. Oh, hoo -hoo, look at that. That is Robert, baby. Yes, indeed. If you get the White Sox, that's pretty much exactly who you would want to hit. So, nicely done. White Sox. Yankees. I'm loving this case. Here's Andy Pettit, and it is numbered to 99 for the New York Yankees. And White Sox have another hit with Zach Collins. The Mariners, they don't want to go home empty-handed. It is Jake Fraley, and looks like it is numbered to 75. Cubbies again. Chris is definitely living right. This one is numbered to 50, and it is Alzale. Or as my grandmother probably would have said, you must be holding your mouth right. Oh, well, we've hit a few Astros, but none of them exactly who you wanted yet, probably. That is numbered to 25. It's Abraham Toro for Houston. Here we come into the last box, so it is last box mojo time right now, right now. Good luck, everybody. It comes out for my Cincinnati Reds. Very cool. With Mr. Aristides Aquino and numbered to 99 for my little Cincinnati Reds. Getting the last box mojo going tonight. Chris, you said you have gotten a lot of cases scratched this year you know I, I noticed when we opened some earlier as i said that there were some scratches but that's pretty typical this product always has a fair amount of scratches on the case they never come out looking like perfect but i was surprised at how much that reese hoskins had on it i mean most of them are not quite as scratched as this one is but what are you gonna do all right so to recap we have phillies the Cubs, that sweet little hit right there. Love it. It's Baltimore Orioles, Cal Ripken Jr. Then we've got one for the Minnesota Twins, followed by the Brewers, the Oakland A's, the Yankees with that nice little Andy Pettit, Cincinnati Reds, and Mr. Aristides Aquino. There's a low number, blue parallel for the Astros. Sweet little hit for the White Sox with the Robert. Uh, there's another numbered one for the Astros. Then we've got the Cleveland Indians. Here's that, um, exactly as it was called, <laughs> Fernando Tatis. Exactly what he asked for, for the Padres, numbered to 25. The Oakland A's. The Cubbies with another numbered hit there. Then we have the Mariners out with a Fraley. There's another White Sox. Cleveland Indians hit again. Logan Allen on that one. Max Muncy for the Dodgers. And then, of course, the Oakland A's and Sean Murphy. And that wraps up Clearly Authentic. 
So that's going to roll us right into some finest baseball. We also had one unpaid finest team when I looked last. Let me see where things sit on that front. And I'm going to leave you here for a hot second while I see if our uh, team paid or not in finest. And the answer is survey says no. All right, so we have the St. Louis Cardinals available in finest if anybody wants them. Looks like they sold on eBay for $23.50. So if somebody does want the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, let me know. Jump in the chat and let me know. All righty. Um, okay, let's get the spreadsheet updated to reflect that that is unpaid. Give me a second here. And then we'll get rolling on finest all right well shoot there we go i i i i know i made a mess of things didn't i shoot <laughs> well you can't see that i did but i messed up on the spreadsheet i put the well i clicked the wrong thing but anyway i think i've got it under control now <laughs> that's that's the important part right so, yeah, if you've been here all throughout, you've seen this a few times by now, but because people do jump in and out a lot, I have to put it up there again. Probably going to get out the door Monday. That's plus or minus a day. Could be Saturday, could be Tuesday. Most likely will be Monday that all this stuff ships on the way to you. Consolation cards apply if you fail to hit any card at all in the break, including, you know, base cards in the instance of finest. If you hit literally zero cards at all, you will still get a package in the mail and it'll have consolation cards in it. That's how it rolls when we do um, paid shipping breaks. And it looks like Dominic is willing to um, offer 15 for the St. Louis Cardinals. And Chris, you are welcome. Thank you for joining as well. And um, Ego Trip Breaks says, since everybody's asking, he'll look, he's looking for an Acuna Jr. autograph and finest. All right, well, we will work on that. So right now, the Cardinals uh, are sitting unpaid by our original bidder. We have an offer on the table from Dominic for 15 at the moment. This is going to be an eight-box case of 2020 Finest Baseball. It's a full case break. It's break number three. Our team names are on the left-hand side. Winning bidders cross from each team there on the opposite side. And... Um, Dominic, do you have other teams in here? Let me ask you that. In other words, would I be able to ship them with some other teams that you've already got in this break? Or do you not have any teams in this break? And it would be, um, I would also have to pay for shipping out of the $15. I was just kind of trying to get a feel for where we are on that. And if you could let me know, I would appreciate it. You do. You got the Rangers and the Orioles. Perfect then yeah, because I can ship this with it. I don't have to worry about, you know, socking out another four bucks or so for postage. So yes, if you want to pick them up, that would be great. And um, that's the Cardinals in finest. Here's what I'm going to do, Dominic. I'm typing in right now the email address uh, that I use for PayPal. It's an old school email, kids. This is OG email. I do not use it for correspondence. If you send me a message there, I will quite literally never see it. However, it's tied to so many things that I don't want to have to redo. I'm going to keep it until, you know, pretty much ever. <laughs> so there you go. But I just use it for certain things. So Dominic, if you, um, I think you should be able to see the email address there on your side, hopefully. If not, let me know. But if you want to jump into PayPal and shoot that over, that would be great. Meanwhile, I am going to update the spreadsheet to reflect that it is yours. And I'm also going to jump here into eBay. I need to close out uh, the person who didn't pay. I need to close out that order. So just give me a moment here, please, to get all of that done. And... Ready to go. Yes. All right. Cardinals are done there. Let me get the spreadsheet updated. We're almost ready to go, guys. Whoops. 
All right. And that's just, you know, for my own notes in case I in case I need to refer back to them when it comes time to ship. It helps me if I have got everything all sorted out there as well. All right, so we already looked at all the spreadsheet info. Dominic is taking care of the PayPal side of things. And if you would, sir, just uh, give me the high five there. Let me know when it's squared away on PayPal. I would appreciate you. I'm going to get the case finest out. And we'll see what we can find here. So Finest, it is um, one of those products that you spend as much time getting in it <laughs> as you actually do looking at the cards. They have an absolute ton of packaging for Finest. So it starts with the fact that there are two mini boxes in each master box. And then, of course, each mini box has its packs of cards in it. So the first thing that I like to do... You know how I am, all about getting that delayed gratification out of the way up front. I take all the mini boxes out first. Then after we have extracted all the mini boxes, we'll start looking through them. But I just don't like, um, you know, the constant like stop and go, stop and go. I don't know. It bugs me. So I've always kind of been that way. So I just like to get them kind of done and ready to go right off the top. Plus it gives you time to walk the dog or go get a soda or a snack or whatever while we're working our way through all of this. So what we're looking for in here, um, we will find one autograph card per mini box. That's what this is, the mini box. So it's technically two per quote unquote master box which is uh, one per mini box, of course. So that means we're going to have 16 total autographs, and along the way we're going to find inserts and numbered cards and other things, as we typically do. The first box that we go through will go a little bit slower and talk about what we are seeing in there so that everybody has an idea of the type of inserts and what to be on the lookout for and that sort of thing. Then in subsequent boxes, we'll move through a lot of that a little bit faster is kind of how. Did I get that? I didn't get that cut very well, did I? That way we can get everybody kind of on the same page and then ready to go. Dominic, this is your favorite product. Yeah, I enjoy Finest a lot myself. I always look forward to the Finest Careers, too. And they're usually, um, I don't know, die cut, aren't they? It seems to me they're always die cut, but this year they're not. Of course, Ichiro is our Finest Careers guy. But I always think that's a fun little part of it anyway. So let me get a few sleeves on the table here, and we're going to get rolling. All you need is cards likes Finest, too. Yeah, it is a fun little product. It's a lot of bang for your buck, I think. And Dominic says you are all good as far as PayPal. Thank you. Perfect. Appreciate you. And let's get my own view sorted out there. We're ready to rock. We're ready to roll. Ego Trip says, or you could get a beer <laughs> on the break. Yeah, while I'm doing all that, for sure, man. I mean, I couldn't because, yeah, no, can't do that. No drinking and breaking for me, but as far as you guys are concerned, heck yeah, go for it. I used to work for a beer distributor. I was a regional sales manager, and we distributed virtually all, virtually every brand except the Budweiser portfolio. So, like, all the imports, the rest of the domestics, all that stuff was mine. So I'm always happy to hear, even though I don't work there anymore, I'm still always happy to hear people uh, enjoying beer because for a long time that was my livelihood. Okay, so we are looking at finest duels there, and uh, they both happen to be for the Phillies, so we don't have to worry about any sort of uh, randomizing or anything, but that's just to tell you what that insert was. We're off to a pretty good start because the very first autograph we see happens to be gold and it's numbered to 50. 
and it's Carter Keboom for the Washington Nationals. So I like starting off with gold autograph. <laughs> That's very good, isn't it? Then we've got a base prism uh, refractor. I'm sorry, Tops calls them refractors. I've been breaking a lot of panini lately, and they've switched me over to saying prism. But that was for the Brewers and Keston Hira. And uh, this is an example of the man. Most of these are not going to be refractors or numbered. If we see one that is a refractor or that is numbered, I'm going to point that out. If I don't say anything about it, then of course you know it's just a base insert, as was that one that we just saw. Our other refractor is also a brewer, Lorenzo Kane. So we had Hira and then Kane for the two refractors. And another insert example, this is Finus Firsts. That's hard to say, Finus Firsts. Anyway, um, <laughs> that again, neither refractor nor numbered. And if we come across one that is either one of those things, I will for sure point it out. Oh, Ego Trip, you were just laid off by Original New York Seltzer. You were a sales rep there. You know, I've wondered how things have been for a lot of that sort of industry because so much of the restaurant business, a lot, or so much of the alcohol business, comes from restaurants. At least in, of course, I would, I would think that <laughs> because that was my area. That's what I did. I was the on-premise district manager. So any place that you bought it and consumed it in the same place fell under my team. So that's, you know, bars, restaurants, hotels, arenas, uh, that sort of thing. Now the places that, that you bought it and then took it home, grocery stores and liquor stores and things like that, those fell to somebody else. So Reese Hoskins and the Phillies is our refractor. But so I have often wondered, gosh, you know, what is, what's life like for my former team these days? Because I bet it's tough sledding with the way everything's been shut down. Number to 250, that is Freddie Freeman and the Atlanta Braves. But I've been gone there now for... I've been working for myself for probably, gosh, guys, I don't know, 10 years or so. It seems like it crazy that it's been that long, but I think it has been. So, yeah, I haven't, I haven't called to check on anybody. I've been kind of afraid of what might happen. Aristides Aquino, and it is numbered to 150 finest first. I'm leaving off that last S. And that is my Cincinnati Reds, Mr. Aquino. But yeah, Ego Trip, I am sorry to hear that they laid you off. Hopefully they'll be able to bring you back when things pick back up, right? It's the refractor for the Cubbies there and Chris Bryant. And there's another Finest Duels. That one is uh, Red Sox. And that's what that mini box looks like. Marty! Hey, Marty! Um, yes, we have already done both Archive Signature Series and Clearly Authentic. They were the first two breaks of the night. Finest is actually our third break of the night. So, yeah, we already powered through both of those. They're, those are pretty quick breaks for the most part, Marty. The, they're just those one card per box. I mean, you, you've opened those a bunch. You know what I'm talking about. So they don't take too awfully long to get through. So we are now rolling into just getting started on finest, though. Got a ways to go here yet. More gold. Yay. This one's not autographed, but still, I like to see the color. And it is numbered to 50. It's for the Indians, and it is Savali. Have to wonder, are they going to let the Indians keep their names? It's the Nationals. You know, they're after the Redskins and many others. Are they going to let the Indians and the Braves? Are those guys going to get a pass? Or are they going to come for them next and say, you're changing your name too? Although, arguably, they would be considerably less offensive than Redskins, probably. That is um, Brock Burke for the Texas Rangers. Probably still not great, though. The Atlanta Braves have a refractor, looked like Freddie Freeman, and here is a refractor for the Kansas City Royals, and that looks like Whit Merrifield.
Ego, you had been there for five years. So did they tell you? Like, are they gonna are they going to call you back? You got you and anyone else impacted by it. Are they gonna call you guys back when things get sorted out and business picks back up? Did they give you any indication? I mean, I would hope that they would. That would be the right nice thing to do, you would think, but I guess you never know what somebody's going to do, but it seems like that would, that they would, I mean, that's a, a pretty good length of time to be there. You probably have some really well-established customer connections by now. Dansby Swanson, that is a refractor for the Braves, and there's just a base Boba Shet insert for Toronto. Duel for, look like the Pirates there, I think that was. And our autograph, could it be? Could it be? No, it's Tim Anderson. Well, that's all right. Still good. These are the White Sox. You still have a nice little hit there with Tim Anderson. A refractor for the Nats. And that one, Victor Robles. And on we go. There were Braves, Marty. There was at least... Um, there was at least an Andrew Jones to 30-something. And I think, uh, of course, that was in Archive Signature Retired. I cannot remember off the top of my head if we had Braves in Clearly Authentic or not. Does anybody else remember if we did or not? Maybe. I don't know. But we did have an Andrew Jones, Marty. I remember that much. Because I was like, ooh, I really like that Andrew Jones card. <laughs> it was a black and white parallel. Can't remember from what year. And numbered to 30 or 33 or 30 something. Oh, Ego, you're done there. So you're definitely not going back. Well, I am sorry to hear that. I hope you find something else soon. You know, the good news is if you've worked for a distributor, um, that's great or all Dodgers uh, refractor. You can often go work on the company side, or if you've worked on the company side, you can often go get a job with a distributor. Like I know lots of people that jumped, you know, to Sam Adams or to Coors or Miller or one of our other brands. It's to 250 Eric Hosmer and the Padres. And it was easy for them to get in the door because they had done the distributor side. So it's vice versa, you know. You've worked on the brand side you can jump to the distributor side you worked on the distributor side you can jump to the brand side the cubbies and that is alzale for chicago and we've got a refractor for the dodgers with your young pitcher dustin may and there is a duel also for the cubbies I don't know what any of the brands are like to work for these days, but I used to know quite a few people because, of course, all the brand reps wanted to call on me to sell me on their products so I would sell my team on their products and then have my team go out and put them in our accounts. <laughs> so I used to know a lot of different brand reps, and most of them really liked what they did, but they had to travel a lot. So I don't know what your situation is and all that, but if you can stand the travel, I think it's otherwise probably a pretty good gig. That is the Oakland A's and Matt Chapman with a refractor. Cincinnati Reds, it's green, it's numbered to 99, and it is Aristides Aquino. It has been a Cincinnati Reds kind of night, hasn't it? Reds have had some good hits. Oh my gosh, speaking of... Can you even believe that? That is another Aquino for the Reds on the Finest First. Out of the same case, another Aristides Aquino Finest First. Wow. <laughs> Most of the time you're lucky to find one. We got two. Two for the price of one. That was Cleveland Indians and Mike Clevenger that was a refractor. Oh, you're on vacation right now. Awesome. 
coming back from Montana to San Diego, and you're in Idaho. I do not know if I've ever been to Idaho. That might be one of the few states I've never been in. I can't think of any time I've ever been in or even through Idaho. I've been to a lot of states, but I don't think I've ever been there. Huh. That's interesting. I never really thought about that. I wonder if there are other states I've never been in. Well, Alaska, that would be one I know I've never been in. Twins, refractor, because I don't like cold weather, so... <laughs> Not gonna find me going to Alaska either. So there goes my really quickly I had going through my head. Oh yeah, I should go to Idaho and then maybe any other state I haven't been to. Just as quickly. Oh no, I would have to go to Alaska. Never mind. For the Washington Nationals, there is another Carter Key Boom. What is up with the dupes tonight, man? Crazy. Rendon Angels. Not that there's anything wrong with Alaska before somebody thinks I'm like digging on Alaska. I'm not. I think it's, I've from what I have seen on television, there's some beautiful land up there. I think it's a really pretty state, and I imagine it's got a lot of awesome things. What I do know that it has is cold weather. <laughs> what I do not like is cold weather. So that's the only reason I'm saying I wouldn't go to Alaska. So if you live there, or you know somebody who lives there, I'm not knocking Alaska, all right? I'm just knocking cold weather in general. Bang Lover says he needs a couple of autographs for the Diamondbacks, Kansas City, Cleveland Indians, and the Pirates. All right. All you need is card says you've seen that in back-to-back -back cases with double Aquino autographs. I have not. That's the first time I've run across that this year, so I was a little surprised by that. There is a Beau Bichette, and it is uh, a base refractor, of course. Find a couple of those every time. Number to 250. Oh, I ran into my sleeves. It is the purple parallel for Diaz and the Marlins. And our autograph, oh, that's nice. That is the blue parallel to 150 for the Dodgers with Dustin May. What little bit we saw of that kid um, last year, he looked good. So here's hoping, right? San Francisco Giants, that was uh, Mauricio with a base refractor. There is an Indians duel. Oh, Marty said, blah. So, <laughs> Marty, you don't like your Andrew Jones autograph? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I like Andrew Jones. <laughs> He's one of the guys I I like. And, of course, everybody knows I'm big into Hank Aaron and Johnny Bench. I like Robin Young. I like a lot of the, a lot of the older, past, retired Hall of Famers, whatever we want to call them. You know, Rod Carew, Cal Ripken. There's a ton of my really like and appreciate from back in the day, as they would say. That is the Padres with a Baez refractor. More purple. This one's the Nationals and Steven Strasburg to 250. And that'll make J. Allen happy because that adds to his collection. That is the Phillies and a Reese Hoskins autograph. For those of you who may not know this, Jay Allen has a massive collection of Reese Hoskins autographs. I mean, it's, I don't even remember what the last count was. I want to say in the 400s. There are a tremendous number of them. For the Astros, that is Alex Bregman. And he might be bummed if he missed it in Clearly Authentic, because uh, those I don't think come out super often, but he'll be happy to have that one from Finest. I don't think he's hit it yet this year, although I wouldn't swear to that. He might have. It could be a dupe. I don't know. Either way, he'll like it. Sang Lover says you have watched 10 or 12 archive signature series. There's a whole lot of the big boys who have made no appearance. Like who? Give me some examples. 
10 or 12 cases. Gotcha. Okay. Not gotcha. Gotcha. 10 or 12 cases of archive signature retired. So who are you saying that we haven't seen yet? I'm assuming you haven't seen like Hank Aaron and those kind of guys or like who? Who are, who is who is lurking but yet hard to find this year? Ichiro, this is a finest careers. We generally find a couple of those per case. That's the first one we've seen tonight. You have a White Sox refractor for Dylan Cease. We are coming up on a green Eloy Jimenez that is numbered to 99. It's going to Chicago. Well, the White Sox part of Chicago. And orange. This is nice. Right? That is Pete Alonso, orange to 25. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the last case of this, isn't that where we pulled the Pete Alonso one of one out of finest? If it wasn't the last case, it was the case before last. We recently pulled the Alonso one of one. Now we've got the orange Pete Alonso to 25 for the Mets. So finest has been very good to us in regard to Pete Alonso and the Mets. The Dodgers and Gavin Lux had a refractor. We've got six mini boxes still hanging out back there, which is the equivalent of three master boxes, FYI. So you haven't yet seen Hank Aaron, Gibson, Don Mattingly, Ichiro, Chipper Jones, Doc Gooden. So some of those guys are going to be maybe a little elusive this year. Is that the deal? He says there is MIA as autographs for his teams. Oh, no. We still have a few to look through, so maybe we can turn it around for your teams, all right? We're going to try our best to send you home with something, Stang Lover. I'm going to try hard. That's the Cubbies and Nico with a refractor. We have got a blue Colorado Rocky, Charlie Blackman, numbered to 150. And sure enough, on cue, there is a Cleveland Indians autograph. Just right about as soon as we said we'd find it. And that is Logan Allen for the Cleveland Indians. And then for the Angels, we had a Mike Trout base refractor there. He said he was waiting for his normal last box mojo plea. <laughs> this time we got it a little earlier than the last box. How about that? <laughs> we didn't make you hold out and wait to the very last box this time. So that's an improvement, right? <laughs> we try. We try hard, man. We do try hard. There is a refractor for the Nationals and Trey Turner. Number to 150. It is the blue parallel for the White Sox with Giolito. And we have a little green. It's the Milwaukee Brewers numbered to 99 with Trent Grisham. There is a White Sox Moncada base refractor. We have got four mini boxes left, which is the equivalent of, of course, two master boxes. Well, I got the wrong end of that now, didn't I? See how much easier that is? If Panini would just make their wrappers out of the same material, I would be very, very happy. <laughs> it's so easy to grab the Topps wrappers and just tear them down, and you cannot do that with the Panini wrappers. You have to tear them from the seam. I absolutely hate that. It takes longer. It's all noisy and crazy, and, like, why can't they just get on board and do it the same way? I don't know, but they don't. Number to 150, that is going to the Detroit Tigers with Travis 
demerit or demerit or something maybe closely approximating that or maybe not closely approximating that. Following that was a Charlie Blackman base refractor. Purple numbered to 250 that is coming out for the Mets and it is Ahmed Rosario. A base refractor for the Padres with Manny Machado. And what else can we find? Yeah, Finest is the kind of product where I could probably, like if I just had the money to spend, I could probably set and open about two or three cases of this just personally for myself and still be ready to go open more. I mean, I this is such a, it's an easy product to open and look through and it always has such fun stuff in it. <laughs> I would love to sit and just say like, yeah, if I hit the lottery, I'd be like, yeah, I'd like to buy five cases of Finest. I'm going to open it all for myself, personally. It's so Brian Reynolds and the Pirates. There is a base refractor Dodgers, Justin Turner. Of course, that wouldn't be the only thing I would buy and do that with. It would just be one of many if I won the lottery. Victor Robles, blue, 150, the Nationals. Ichiro, that is another finest careers. Of course, also the Mariners. Cubbies and a base refractor. Now we are headed into our, what is actually our last box because there's too many boxes per master. So we're technically right now entering last box mojo zone. So yeah, you know what that means. Focus your efforts. Focus our energies. Let's see if the mojo will bring forth some fire. We hope, anyway, right? Okay. Let's work our way through it. Raymond, you said because Panini is a meanie. <laughs> I don't know. I, for the life of me, I don't know why they don't make their wrappers that way. I don't know if it's more expensive, if it's like harder, if Top somehow has their wrapper technology patented. I mean, I have no idea why Panini makes their wrappers opposite, but I so wish they didn't. Because this is 10 times more efficient just to grab it and tear it. As opposed to having to, you know, pull it down the seams and all that stuff. But, I don't know. You know how Panini is. They travel their own path, so. <laughs> Not much we can do about it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I like that. That is a finest moments Shohei Otani for the Angels. I still love to pull Shohei to this day. I enjoy pulling him. Nice hit for the Angels with the Shohei Otani autograph. Last box, Mojo alive and well. That is a Mookie Betts base refractor Dodgers. And a base refractor for the Red Sox with J.D. Martinez. One little stack left. What does it hold? It brings us an autograph for the Astros. And I know you were hoping it would be um, Jordan Alvarez. But what we have is Rogelio Armenteros for the Houston Astros. And then we have a New York Yankees Aaron Judge base refractor. And we have the man that is a refractor. And hey, that one will be staying lovers. It's uh, Brendan McKay and the Tampa Bay Rays. And I know, I know, I know you wanted an autograph. But this is the only refractor of the man, that insert set, that we found in the whole case. And it was your guy, Brendan McKay. So that ought to count for something, right? See Oakland A's and Sean Murphy with a base refractor. 
All right, kids, that is a finest baseball. Guess what we're going to do now? We're going to recap some stuff. How do you feel about that? So we'll go back through a few little things here, and then after that I'll put up the shipping information one final time. Con following that, we'll then put up the list of the breaks that are coming up in the days ahead. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, hang tight. be coming your way in just a minute. Okay, so this is um, Ichiro and his finest careers. Both are for the Mariners. We usually find two per case, and that is uh, the same as normal. That's what we found here. Oh, you don't have the Rays in here. You had the Rays in Clearly Authentic. Oh, I'm sorry. I got confused. Sorry, man. So this isn't yours. Oh, but I did get you two autographs, so at least you give me, okay, so you're giving me a little bit of credit for at least working hard, <laughs> trying to work the mojo. So this is the man, Brendan McKay, Tampa Bay Rays. I, it's not numbered, but it is the only refractor version of the man that we found all night, so that's why I recapped it. To 150, the Nationals. To 250, it's the Mets. The White Sox to 150, the Rockies to 150, to 99, the White Sox, 250, the Nationals, to 250, the Marlins, to 99, it's the Cincinnati Reds, 250, Padres numbered to 50, straight up 5-0, Savali and uh, the Indians, and then the Braves to 250 with Freddie Freeman. Now our autographs coming up next. Rogelio Armenteros, that is the Astros. This little beauty right here, right? That is Shohei Otani for the Angels on the finest moments insert. It's a nice little hit. Then you've got the Pirates and Brian Reynolds. Next up, Travis Dimerit for the Tigers. And then the Brewers get involved with Trent Grisham to 99. The Indians have a Logan Allen autograph. This sweet little baby right here is orange number to 25. It's Pete Alonso for the Mets. Here is a nice Reese Hoskins autograph for the Phillies to add to Jay Allen's collection. And then we have number to 150, a Dustin May for the Dodgers. The Nationals bringing home Carter Keboom, one of two autographs we'll find for him tonight. There's Aristides Aquino for the Cincinnati Reds. One of two we'll see of him tonight as well. The Cubbies and Alzale. Tim Anderson for the White Sox. The Texas Rangers and Brock Burke. There's your other Aristides Aquino. And it is numbered to 150 for the Cincinnati Reds. And we started it off tonight with this Carter Keyboom, the gold parallel number two. Okay, so there is the break and the recap. Now, as promised, I am going to throw up the, put up the spreadsheet information one more time. And we'll take another little quick spin through this. Right, so Mondays when I hope to have everything out the door and on the way to you that uh, if, that is coming your way. If you got skunked in one of these earlier breaks tonight and didn't pull a card of any sort, and we, I think everybody will in finest, but well, we'll just say in general. If you don't pull any cards of any sort, based or otherwise, you will still get a package in the mail and it will have consolation card or cards in it. It always works like that when it is a paid listing, paid shipping break listing. And Monday is the best guess when it'll go out the door. Could always be a day early or a day late, but Monday should be about right. Now, as far as the days ahead, this is what it looks like. Tomorrow night, we have two new releases. We're going to open a 10-box case of Absolute Baseball alongside an 8-box half-case quantity break of loose boxes of Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football. Right? That's a mouthful. Saturday and Sunday night will both be off nights. On Monday night, we're going to come back with a 12-box inner case of Legacy Football. And as it has been in prior Legacy breaks, once again, Veteran Base will be a separate bidding category. Veteran Base will not ship to the teams in that Legacy Football break, but the teams will get, of course, everything else in the break as normal, including all the hits. On Tuesday night, we're going to open TriStar Game Day Great Series 2 autographed football jerseys by the full five-box case. 
And then following that, we're going to run through another eight box case of Finest Baseball. Because, like, why not? It's fun, right? We like it. We all like it. All right. So that about has me wrapped up for tonight. Let me see if I missed anything here in chat. Um, Ego Trip Breaks said, well, oh, it was a no-go for you, but that's the break. So oh, I'm sorry, man. That's no, it's never as much fun when you don't hit. I wish we'd hit something for you. But, hey, you know what? You you probably still got some cards of some sort, but it maybe wasn't exactly what you wanted. But maybe next time we can get the mojo fired up, right? I'm going to try. I'll try hard for you. All right, kids. I guess that is it for me tonight. So, thank you once again for being here. I always appreciate it. If I don't see you again tomorrow night, I hope you will come by and see me again sometime soon. I always like having the company. Whether you're in the break or not, you can always come hang out with me. So in the meantime, stay safe and happy and healthy, and I will see you again tomorrow night. Bye.